Okay, so second update for uh, where I'm at right now. Uh, as you can see, I just clean up the mess that was in the secret last time. Right now, it's much much better. Though it could use some improvement, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, uh, I've also bought an extension for the phone line, way better, and a cheap junction box to get a better connection to the to the board. Uh, so yeah, uh, I just coded something real quick last night, and I'm gonna show you um, the results. So so yeah, I'll just put this here. I thought I just. Um, record directly from the screen later but for now I just want to test it so I'm gonna upload the code alright I'm gonna open this serial monitor okay so right now I'm opening the phone line let's start with a oh. Uh, before I, before I start, uh, the correct code would be uh, uh, it's eight four one three, but I'm gonna start by entering a wrong one. So let's say five six eight three, and as you can see, uh, it's not good. So yeah, uh, I, I just use these for uh, debugging purposes. Uh, later on, I'll won't need it really so now I'm gonna enter the good one which is 8 4 1 3 and yep as you can see it just gets the good password from the phone line uh, and I've wrote sending 5 volt signal for 3 seconds which like I said just for debugging purposes well, I won't really be needing it just if I don't know if I could do it again. Yeah, I'll try it one once more. Let's say uh, five, six, three, one, and we're wrong password. Now one, eight, four, one, three. Valid password. There you go. So yeah. Uh, next I'll be. Uh, I'll just plug the Arduino to the motherboard and hopefully I'll be able to boot the computer by calling home. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and see you later.